Number 39. Unreasonable results. Suppose two children are using a uniform seesaw that is three meters long and has its center of mass over the pivot. The first child has a mass of 30 kilograms and sits 1.4 meters from the pivot. Letter A. Calculate where the second 18 kilogram child must sit to balance the seesaw. All right, so here's my picture. We got a one child, 30 kilograms of mass located at 1.4 meters from the pivot point. The center of mass of this pivot point is located uh, right over the pivot, and therefore there's no torque that's produced by the, um, by the seesaw itself, right? It would be perfectly balanced. And now what we are tasked to do is say, well, what is now the distance from this point of rotation that the second child must sit at who weighs 18 kilograms to balance this particular seesaw? So obviously it says, right, that it says unreasonable results. So I'm, I'm expecting, I mean, you can even look at the numbers. I'm expecting, you know, this length to be somewhere off of the seesaw, okay? Remember, it's just basically a proportion. Notice how this is, I mean, you can think about this quickly. Notice how this is 30 kilograms and uh, this is 18. So roughly, this is about half, right? It's, I know it's not, but it's roughly, it's roughly about half the, 18 kilograms is roughly about half of the 30. And therefore, I would expect this lever arm to be almost double that of this lever arm. So wait a minute, if this whole thing is three meters and this is 1.4 meters, that only leaves, right? Or that basically means that this effective lever arm should be almost double this, which would be like 2.8, okay? I know it's gonna be a little uh, less because the weight is not exactly half, but it's going to be around 2.8, a little less, like I said. Um, but wait a minute, can it be 2.8? Because remember, that's the distance from the pivot. No, it can't, right? If the pivot's located in the middle of the seesaw and the seesaw is three meters long, then that means this distance here is only 1.5 meters. So obviously that's the unreasonable part, right? So basically problem's over. Uh, that's the benefit of, you know, thinking through problems, not necessarily... You know, thinking about what the formulas mean, what the relationships are between masses and uh, masses, torques, and lever arms, right? Basically inversely proportional. All right, so let's just jump into it. So we got the sum of the torques here is equal to zero, right? Now, I already explained that there's two torques in the problem. Why? Because there are two forces acting at a distance, one force here, one force here, acting at a distance relative to the axis of rotation. Therefore, there are only two torques. Um, we, have, we have to consider which one's positive and which one's negative. This particular force... Uh, would rotate the bar counterclockwise, therefore this is positive, and that makes this one negative. So we can say that the torque of one minus the torque of two should equal zero. All right, doing a little algebra here, that means the torque of one should equal the torque of two. Expanding on these two, we have the perpendicular lever arm of one multiplied by the force of one should equal the perpendicular lever arm of two multiplied by the force of two. I'm tasked to find the perpendicular lever arm, therefore divide both sides by this F2. Okay, so now with the perpendicular lever arm for uh, child number two would be R1, F1, all over F2. There's our formula. Beautiful. Now let's just plug in the values. So here we have R2 is equal to 1.4 multiplied by the weight, which is 30 kilograms multiplied by 9.8, all divided then by the force of child two, which would be the 18 kilograms multiplied by 9.8. And all we need to do now is plug it into the calculators. Obviously, you can simplify it by canceling the 9.8s, but it doesn't really matter. Just calculate it. So times 30 and then all divided by 18. And you'll notice... What do we get? 2.3, right? 2.3 repeating. So what did I say before? I said it was about 2.8, if you remember, but I said it's going to be less than that because I knew that the weight was more than uh, half. So that being the case, it was 2.3, okay? The actual value. So this is the distance. And again, I already talked about why that's unreasonable because it would literally be off the seesaw. So unless it's, you know, I don't know, unless the child was David Bladen's child and somehow... He was sitting out there uh, levitating, and somehow that levitating force transmitted to a torque. I, unless that's the case, this is unreasonable. Guys, thank you so very much. Uh, please remember to subscribe. Look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.